I mean, expecting a quality roofing system from a three-type shingle is about as smart as voting for What's the difference between a three-tab shingle and an architectural shingle? Let's talk about it. A three-tab shingle is just not as good of a product as an architectural shingle is. When you downgrade to a three-tab shingle from an architectural, there's a huge sacrifice in quality. I mean, expecting to have a quality roofing system with a three-tab shingle is like expecting the Patriots to win the Super Bowl now that they've gotten rid of Tom Brady. <laughs> Expecting a quality roofing system when you go with a three-tab shingle versus an architectural is like expecting a good donut when you go to Dunkin' Donuts instead of Krispy Kreme. <laughs> expecting a quality roofing system with a three-tab shingle is like expecting customer service from Chick-fil-A when you go to any other fast food restaurant. <laughs> I mean, expecting a quality roofing system from a three-tab shingle is about as smart as voting for... You thought you had me there for a second. Okay, you get the point. A three-tap shingle is an inferior product to the architectural shingle. But why is that? It starts with the fact that this shingle has three tabs, which means that for wind to get up under this shingle and lift it and cause issues, all it has to do is get under one of these tabs. This continues to flap in the wind, eventually breaks off and allows water to travel down the exposed nails underneath. Plus, not to mention, it is a lot thinner than the counterpart in that architectural shingle. Now, the architectural shingles, on the other hand, um, have a lot of advantages to them. First of which is that the bottom layer is one continuous layer, so for wind to lift this, it has to lift the entire shingle, not just a small section of it. Not to mention that the asphalt content in this shingle is a lot higher, which makes this shingle heavier. And a heavier shingle with more asphalt content can stand the test of time far better uh, to the sun, the wind, the rain, and everything that the weather conditions have to throw against it. Um, you know, for us, we simply don't trust a three-tap shingle. That's why we don't install it, and we don't charge an upcharge fee to our homeowners to go to an architectural shingle. With the warranties that we offer, we have to install products that we trust, and we simply just don't trust a three-tap shingle. I think from this channel, you see that trust is important to us. That's why we provide informational content and try to keep it entertaining. Probably fail at that at times, but we do our best. Uh, if you think we're doing a fairly decent job at that, be sure to like, subscribe, share this channel so it can continue to grow and we can help more people.